years late, but Mumbai's draft development plan for the next 20 years has finally been tabled by the BMC. One of the big proposals in this draft is the change to the floor space index, zoning and open space regulations. Kevin Lee and Arib Sherwani find out how developers and industry watchers view these changes. This 606-page document that I'm holding in my hand will determine how Mumbai's landscape changes over the next 20 years. One of the most important parts of this draft development plan is a proposed change to FSI or floor space index. Uh, FSI is the ratio between the constructible sellable area of a project to the area of the land on which it is built. Uh, a higher FSI will mean that developers can build larger or more flats for the same plot of land. Developers are raising a toast to the proposal that FSI for residential projects be set at a uniform two, meaning a 1,000 square meter plot of land can house flats with a combined saleable area of 2,000 square meters. Now it is very straightforward on the gross plot area, it is uh, FSI. So I think the few, few of these moves are good and I think it clearly shows the intent of the government that they want to uh, simplify the process. So we welcome the move. For commercial real estate projects, the draft looks at moving the clutter away from existing commercial zones. The proposal here is to rezone three new areas as CBDs or central business districts. These are Vadala, Mulund and Borivili. So the FSI in these areas for commercial projects will be set at five, on par with existing commercial hubs like Lower Perel and Bandra Kurla complex. But here's where it gets a little complicated. These areas already have an FSI assigned to them, so developers usually buy additional FSI from other developers who have not used their full FSI, as long as their project's total FSI does not breach the upper limit. But what the draft guidelines propose is that this additional FSI that builders can buy will be available at a lower premium, so that construction activity is not discouraged. It's at par with commercial office space at 5 FSI, but if you see the premium that they need to pay is only 25% of the rate, mm. whereas commercial office space for 100%. So it's a focus given to commercial, but with slight, you know, I would say more focus on ITIT's development. Of course, the center's push for affordable housing has been given priority, but not at the cost of open space. So 25% of the city's developable area is to be earmarked for affordable housing. 25% to open spaces and social infrastructure projects and academic institutions are to be given greater allocation. Citizens now have 60 days to respond to these proposals, after which the state government will finalize the guidelines. So you can expect to see some changes to Mumbai skyline by the end of this year. In Mumbai with Kevin Lee, Arib Sherwani.